Hello gamers. Sitting upstairs in the living room. I was just looking at the uh, Emerald Activity statistics. And um, apparently the there's a guy flying around in uh, some kind of vehicle. I don't know what it is. I haven't been logged on the game. I haven't really paid much attention. But he's flying around to the tune of, I don't know, 800 kills and three deaths in the last hour. Uh, still playing. Uh, nothing's done about it. Apparently, this has been a thing for the last few days. Um, and I mean, just to get out ahead, it ahead of it a little bit. There are some people in the community that will. There are some people in the community that consistently go back to the thing and blame Dolphin Gate. Uh, for the situation that the game is in or any any real time that um the same cheater because i think it's just the one guy maybe it's two i don't know uh anytime someone takes hold of the server during prime time which extremely based by the way fuck because fuck all you losers who sit on prime time every fucking night and zerg ball around and sit on your gay ass little point holds fuck off so based cheater is shitting on all your enjoyment for the game that's fu really funny to me actually um but a lot of loser shitters will go back and basically say that dolphin gate is why you can't deal with people like this now uh when those people don't really know anything about dolphin gate and they have no idea they'll they'll try to blame like a small subsection of of players for the reason why the game is that way with in terms of anti-cheat. And at this point, man, that was... First of all, that was eight years ago. Uh, and probably isn't playing at all into what's going on now. Second of all, the guys... I've done a... I have a whole video on this. But the guys that were actively participants and uh, were part of Dolphin Gate, uh, you know what we asked for? We asked you to change the parameters uh of your auto ban system so you don't you don't ban people that that maybe get a three or four kpm at one fight or two or like my character had like a fucking 2.17 or 19 account kpm but i accidentally popped off for 12 minutes against some aod shitters at one point and got auto ban uh maybe you guys should have listened to uh, once again you don't ever listen to your good players, and when we told them that they needed to adjust their parameters uh, to be more realistic and in line with what is possible in the game, uh, they got their panties in a twist and scrapped the whole thing because they're butthurt little shit devs. Uh, so, yeah, uh, it's a shame to see that really not much has changed because if there was a reasonable system in place that would just auto-ban people like that uh that are going on now i'd be fine with that but uh what i wasn't fine with was getting getting banned for you know having normal good player stats just because your csr and your dev team is completely out of touch with what's possible in the game and what's the, there's a there i i talk shit a lot and there's still a lot of good players around uh not you guys that sit and pop 24-7 and fucking have 2KD still. I mean, you're ass. But there's there's some friends of friends that I know that are, are still really good players. And even those players today, I mean, uh, they get auto-banned from the old fucking system. All we ask is that the parameters get changed, you know? Just have realistic parameters that aren't designed by someone who has no fucking clue what's possible and what's not. Uh, so, yeah... We asked for that. We begged for that. I've In my Dolphin Gate video, I talked about that. And I went through the entire thread, including the interactions with the community manager and all that stuff in there. And through and through, consistently, we asked for just change the parameters. You don't have to get rid of the system. I think the system can work. We all thought the system can work. It just needed to have parameters that weren't fucking stupid. And once again, uh, we listened to shitters and... It always gets back to it, man. When you listen to people who have no idea what's going on and you implement systems based on 
ignorance and not being able to understand what's going on. The difference between, like, my account that got banned and the guy that's flying around right now with an 800 fucking KD and a 15 KPM, yeah, they're not even remotely the same. But the system would have caught both. That's true. The system would have caught both, except, um, yeah, when you are totally fine, if, if you're someone who's totally fine with banning people who are not actually cheating, then... Mm, you're kind of doing like the the boomer shitter fucking bad bad battlefield uh server admin type thing and I really don't like those people and I wish the communities would shit on those people more but you're kind of like in the exact same camp cuz if you think if you think the guy running around with a fucking 3 kpm and a 4 or 5 kd is a cheater then you're probably shit at the game uh and you need to get fucking better so yeah, so the whole thing about uh, dude flying around on primetime every night. Uh, yeah, the game is run by incompetent people. And it's even more so played by incompetent people. Uh, so yeah, if you're still logging in to play primetime every night, I'm, you guys can't keep logging in every night and and deal with this shit. Just... The only way to get their attention is to stop playing the fucking game. Cancel your memberships. Stop logging in every night. I know you can't. Look, I get it. I know you cannot fucking play any other game because no other game lets you get away with fucking the, the population imbalance and individual fights. And I know you're shit at the game and you're shit at every other game, but you guys just have to stop logging in. If you ever want anything to change, it could go one of two ways. You can log in. Will you fucking stop? It could go one of two ways. Uh, you guys actually nut up uh, and s stop logging into the game, which I guess you probably can't because you have no transferable skills to any other game, even remotely in existence. Uh, and you see some change. Um, or uh, you guys all stop logging in and the game just shuts down and dies. Uh... Either way, I think it's a win-win, because at this point, with the development and the shit that's happening in the game, why drag it out, you know? Shut it down. Shut it down. Get End it. And the, the experiment is over. Rel fucked the game up so fucking hard, it will never recover from the damage that he's done to the game. Let that be his lasting legacy. Shut this motherfucker down, especially if you're just going to let these guys fly around every night with fucking 25 KPM killing everything in primetime. Like, if you're not going to actually fucking do anything about it, just shut the game down. Give it up. Yeah. Once again, I, there, it's very hard to talk about the game. I've got a question sitting on the docket from the QA about what I like about the game and the positives of the game. And man... The fucking positives and what I like about the game are so overshadowed by ineptitude and the just complete and total incompetence of the people of every single dev team that has run the game. They all have their hands in it. Um, yeah. It's, it's a sad state of affairs. And if you guys want to see any change or you want to see a direction of change, then you need to make fucking posts everywhere. You need to constantly be posting about it, demanding fucking action. Uh, especially if you're someone who is dumb enough to still be paying a membership for the fucking game, or you just need to fucking quit, log out, stop playing, mass log out. You know, do a do a do like tomorrow night, fucking Tuesday night. Everybody on fucking Emerald, just don't log in. If that's going to be their response to, to, to for them to do absolutely nothing all fucking weekend, because I'm pretty sure it was happening all fucking weekend. If their response is just to do nothing, then. Stop logging in because they're not they're not going to if you guys keep logging in and just slogging through it because you're NPC fucking drones. I got to do my directive. I got to I got to log in for outfit ops. Then nothing's ever going to change. So. Have fun getting killed by the flying hacker.